Hi guys, I hope you're well. I uh, just wanted to show you really a bit of a tutorial on pinning and how I reposition Space Marines and make them look a little bit different, try to add sort of like a bit of character to Marines and make them look different within their, their individual squads. Um, for this tutorial, you're obviously going to need some Space Marine parts, which I hope you've got ready. Um, if you haven't, then go grab those. You're also going to need a pin vise or a drill of some sort that's obviously drill the holes for the pins to go in. You're then going to need some pliers of some sort. They don't have to be GW ones, I know they, both of these are, but it just needs to be obviously something a tool of some sort that will give you the same sort of desired effect on what you're using it on. Um, as for glue, I would recommend when doing any pinning work to use a uh, really strong super glue. I use uh, Loctite super glue, it's actually the gel one, it's not as runny, it tends to dry a bit quicker, uh, but this is just the glue that I use. If you use something different, then chuck it in the comments below, guys. Um, but if you've used this before, you'll know that it's uh, it does exactly what it says on the tin, so, so there you go. Um, as for the rod itself for pinning, what you're going to need to use is something that's very easy to get hold of. Um, a lot of people go to shops and buy, you know, special pins or special things like that. You don't need to do any of that. This is, you know, the cheapest way of doing it. You know, you can get lots of what I'm going to show you in a second very easily. Um, you can even get them from work. I'm not condoning that, but you can do that. So there's a bit of advice. Um, but I use uh, the heavy gauge thick paper clips. Um, they work really well, they're strong, they don't rust, um, they're, they're generally quite good. Um, I've never had a problem to date so I advise getting these. I don't know what the diameter is of these but they're just the heavy gauge ones, that's what it says on the box from where I buy them from. Um, and they're like 99p for like 100 or 200 I think, something stupid like that. So what I'm going to do now is we're just going to refresh and go over all the things that you need and when you come back I will show you uh, exactly how we start cutting the arms and doing all that to get sort of like a, a desired sort of look. Um, so I'll catch you guys in a minute. Hi guys and we're back. So hopefully you've got all the tools and everything you need from the earlier part of the video. I'm going to move on now to cutting the arm, positioning and really thinking up a bit of narrative about the, about the model itself to get that dynamic pose. Um, as you can see in front of you I've got a couple of Space Marine parts that I'm going to be using for this model. I've decided that it's going to be a Sergeant. Um, I've obviously decided the loadout so plasma pistol and power axe and then I've obviously chosen a torso. You can use a normal torso that comes with a kit. I've just gone for a Mark IV Maximus that you get from Forge World. Um, so really the, the, what you need to do first of all decide how the arms are going to go obviously if you're going to try and reposition the arms and pose them a little bit different there's going to be some cutting involved which is the next part which I'm going to show you now so obviously this is a standard plasma pistol arm as you can see I uh, haven't done anything to it whatsoever bar take it off the sprue and then what I've got here as in true blue Peter fashion is one I made earlier as you can see the difference between that and that is quite sizable. I've actually cut off a large section of the end near the shoulder uh, and the reason for that might not look very obvious in this view but if we do a top down view you will see that I've cut off quite a sizable piece of the shoulder. Now that flat bit on the right hand arm is to basically mount directly against the body whereas that would be the flat part there that goes across the body instead of this part here being the part that goes against the body, it's this part now. So as you can see, you can get that point in fashion. If my finger was the body of the marine, that just fits onto the body now, nice and flush, and then obviously gives that more stretched shooting pose. If you look like that, it looks like it'd be shooting away from the body. And where the original join would be, you're gonna have to green stuff over that, which is gonna be towards the end of this video. So that's on the plasma pistol arm. So we'll put the new arm up there. Uh, and then this is the original Power Axe. As you can see, same sort of thing. Nothing different on that one as normal. Same sort of shoulder size. And then this is the new one. Again, Blue Peter fashion. Uh, one I made earlier. You can see that I've cut quite a sizable piece off of it. Which gives you that flat edge to really show the stretch of the Marines swinging the axe. So if my thumb was the body, rather than it being like this, which is how it would be, it's now like that, and if you twist it, it looks like it's actually going to swing it as well. So that's essentially how you do it. You just cut the, the shoulder part on the arm to make a new flush, flat edge to join to the body to give that extra sort of positioning. Um, and now obviously the pinning will start. So obviously on the original body, as you can see, I haven't drilled these arms, they have any, uh, there's a bit of flash on there still, so that's got to come off. But what we'll do is obviously, again, I've made one earlier, I drilled all the holes where they match up. So what you do is you get the original parts and you then join them up to show where they're going to be going. So as you can see, there's the shooting element of it. So it looks like he's overstretched. 
and then what we've got to do is just pin them together which will be in the next part of the video um, I'm going to go away now I'm going to glue some pins in and then obviously show you what you do and then we'll come back to it once uh, the first arm's joined on so get all those parts together start cutting the arms and then come back to the next part of the video guys see you in a sec So hopefully you've cut the arms to the relevant angle and you've dry fitted them to make sure that they fit and you get the sort of like look that you want on the model. Um, the next stage is really simple. All you need to do is on your torso, just drill the holes on either side of the arm, just basically to fit on the, the pins in the right relevant place. Um, get your pin, get some glue, glue on the end of the pin and obviously just join it in there so it fits into the body how you want it. It takes about a minute or so for either side to fit in and so it's nice and snug you want to cut it off once uh, you've obviously left it for a minute and you want to leave it about three or f three or four mil so you don't have a lot so just on the left hand side of my nail there just that's where you want to basically cut it and you should have something that looks like this so there's the body with both the pins in on both sides how I've basically done it all you want to do now is final dry fit I always recommend dry fitting everything a few times before just so that you get the look and you know exactly what you want so as you can see I'm going to go for him to turn it a little bit so it's angled a little bit just makes him look a little more badass um, and that's how that one's going to be glued on and then the second one which is obviously the, the power axe arm that's going to be going on in that hole there and it's going to be swinging like that so it looks like he's about to swing and he's firing as something's recharging towards him so that's essentially how it looks so you've got the bit more of a dynamic pose now as you can see on this there's gaps there where the original join would be how you'd normally put the arms on they're the areas that are going to need green stuff in which we will do in the next part of the video okay so that's essentially the next stage is what is getting the green stuff in once that's in there have a play around with it dry fit it time and time again until you exactly get the angle and the sort of like look that you want um, and that's what what I would recommend because once it's in there with that super glue once those pins are all glued in there isn't much you can do to change the look unless you break the model so go over review make sure everything's okay if you're batching them then obviously do one at a time and, and, and go through the pro batch process properly without skipping anything um, so the next stage these are going to be glued on and uh, in the right position I'm going to join the body to the uh, to the legs and get the position just angle it a little bit so it looks like he's swinging and then the final part of this video guys will be the green stuff just to show you how to do the plasteel armor um, to give it that sort of like extra little bit of detail to make it fill the gaps and not look too much like it's a, a pinned job okay so go away get all that done and then what obviously we'll uh, catch up in the last bit of the video So finally guys, the last part of this video we got there, um, the last area of this video is obviously just covering filling the gaps and obviously the model itself. Um, as you can see I have glued on a head and I've also glued on the shoulder pads and backpack so now obviously the model is essentially complete bar the gaps under the arms. So what we want to do, um, if you've never used green stuff before then I would advise obviously searching some green stuff videos online, there's plenty of good YouTubers who chuck up some good green stuff videos. I haven't got any at the moment, I am going to be doing some but I'm going to show you in this video very quickly just how to do one of them so you can see how the process works so if you get your green stuff cut a small portion of blue and a small portion of yellow off heat them up or with your fingers mix them together I use a hairdryer just to heat them ever so quickly just to do it quickly I've done it in this one as you can see I've started to mix the green stuff here so we'll just get this working as you can see I've got some water on my mat here so I just keep them keep the green stuff wet which is what you want to do keep the green stuff wet mix it as much as you can Let me just move the model so I can center this so you want to mix this up as quick as you can just for this video purposes get it nice and mixed um, as you can see you want to get it to a consistent green color you want to get rid of all of the um, little parts of it that you can see any yellow rip it apart join it together just so that you get a nice uh, fluid sort of like green and it's feels like you can work it you can't feel any lumps in it and that's what you want to get as you can see here it's going green there's a couple of little yellow dots and so we'll just do it for a minute or so more just to get it a bit more mixed well and get all the lumps out so there's the green stuff essentially done we'll do this very quickly keep the excess green stuff in the, in the water and if you need to add any water have your water jar nearby and just keep it wet so that it's moist and it doesn't dry up get a small piece of green stuff like this and what you want to try and do is roll like a, a sausage or like a small section and as you can see on the model here this green stuff is going to go in the gap on the left arm there okay so what you need is either a craft knife, you need a craft knife for this, so this is probably the best thing to have is a craft knife and a modelling tool of some sort. Um, you can get modelling tools from a lot of different places, I tend to get mine from sort of hobby craft and things like that. I use one that's got 
the sort of angled L sort of shape and a straight. That's the main sort of one you'll be needing. Get the uh, roll the uh, green stuff into a bit of a sort of like uh, sausage. This bit's a little bit too long, so just take any excess off. Um, once that's done, all you want to do is you roll that into a small sausage sort of shape. Pick it up. Remember to use the water. Um, place that in the gap there. And as you can see, we'll zoom in on this just so you can see the process of how it's done. So with your with your modelling tool, if you can get this to focus, with your modelling tool, just tease it into place and put it into the gap. You want to fill. What you're trying to achieve is it's the plastic arm. When you see marines, if you look at a set of marine legs, you'll see that they've got like this ridged sort of armour in between the joints of the armour. And that's what you're trying to em sort of emulate. Um, as you can see, just push that into the gaps, get it nice and flush. Um, it doesn't need to be 100% correct, it's supposed to be obviously sort of stretching. Now bear in mind I'm doing this just for obviously the video, just so you can get an idea of how I do the process. Um, that would essentially, you could get away with that as is, so you could get away with that and it would be okay. But I like to go the extra mile and I like to put the detail in on the ridges. Now as you can see here on the left here, you've got a couple of the lines from the Plastial Armour. What I'm actually going to add to it is I'm going to add the ridged lines. The way that I do that, you can use a modelling tool, but for me, the best way personally is to use your good old knife, okay? Now be very careful when you're doing this. What you want to do, so that the blade doesn't stick to the green stuff, is dip it in your water. So, as you can see, the blade is wet. All you want to do then is you get the blade and you drop some water onto the thing so it's got a nice amount of fluid water on there and you just apply a little bit of pressure and it will give you the lines that you require as you can see it gives you a couple of lines and it emulates that plastic armor if you blow away any excess water it emulates emulates the plastic armor and that's the effect you're trying to get just joining up the plastic and the arm in between the chest and the arm so there's essentially what you want to try and do um, I hope that makes sense guys. If you need any other advice, drop me a message. Leave any comments below. Let me know what you think of the sergeant and also the process in general. If you pin things in a different way, let me know. Um, I hope this has been helpful. I hope it gives you a better insight into sort of like the way I make my models and also a good way of pinning them in my opinion. Um, if you do it differently, let me know. If you don't like it, then, then please let me know. Obviously any criticism, both positive and negative, is accepted. Um, if you do like it, then and this has been helpful, then please let me know as well. Um, I appreciate you watching uh, watching this video. Please like, please comment, and as always, guys, please subscribe to my channel because it means a lot. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.